The sixth graders of Indian Hills Elementary in Rossford wish to thank the friends of this broadcast for their generous local support of this edition of News 6. Welcome to this week's edition of News 6. Today's program is brought to you by the 6th grade class of Indian Hills Elementary. We're located in the city of Rossford in Wood County. Founded in 1898, it has a population of 6,406 people. Let's find out what issue is most on the mind of our 6th graders. Today's kids' view question is, should there be year-round school? Yes, I would like year-round schooling because it allows my family to take trips throughout the year. Yes, I think we should have year-round schooling because you could forget what you've learned the past year and feel like you have to start all over again in that. No, I don't agree with year-round schooling because I like to have a longer summer break to cool off from all the hard work. No, because if you play sports, year-round school will interfere with your sports schedule. No, I would not like year-round schooling because I'd forget what we are studying prior to the break. Hi, I'm Lauren Smith. Welcome to Indian Hills. This is our classroom where we come to school every day. This is our cafeteria where we eat lunch. This is our brand new Weather Night 11 station. This is the library where we can check out books. We use creativity throughout our lives. Some folks use it to solve problems and others use it to make works of art. Alicia Hogreave reports that creativity can be original and colorful. Hi, I'm Alicia Hogreave and Rossford, there's a place where we can go to nurture our creativity. Allison Frey is there to help us. She owns Creative Hands School of Art in downtown Rossford. Creative Hands School of Art is a place for people of all ages to come to express their creativity through the visual arts. We do drawing activities, painting, sculpting, sewing, and quilting. I have children that come after school and Saturday mornings. I have homeschoolers that come during the daytime, and I have adults that come in the evening. She uses many different types of art supplies. We work with papers, paints, clays. We do things with fabric and um, recycled objects. The most popular art that I teach is probably drawing. A, a lot of people, even as young as five years old, want to learn how to draw better. She has many works of art that she uses as examples. I try to exp uh, display a lot of my own work, but also work of famous artists like Vincent Van Gogh and Claude Monet. I use these examples to inspire, but I try to encourage students to come up with their own ideas and to express their own creativity. I really like that I'm working with small groups. Um, I have a maximum of eight students per class. and gives them a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention, but also they don't have the peer pressure of coming up with ideas that are like their friends. I really enjoy doing art myself, and I want to share that with other people. This is Alicia Hogreef reporting for News 6.
Hi, I'm Jordan Vedra with this week's New 6 Review. Today we're checking out the fantastic Sony PlayStation 2. It's a very interactive game console and the games themselves are very realistic. There's battling games and adventure games. Us players seem like part of the action. They're for all different kinds of people of different ages and vary from easy to hard. They're even rated E for everyone and AO for adults only. Everyone should have a PlayStation 2. For New 6 Review, I'm Jordan Vedra. Let's face it, sixth graders work hard. We spend most of the week in school completing homework assignments and doing household chores. Reporter Crystal Briggs knows we need a break. Hello, I'm Crystal Briggs. There's a fun place that we can go that's right up our alley. That place is Rashford Lanes. Cheryl Deck is the assistant manager. Rustford Lanes is a bowling alley. Rustford Bowling Lane serves families, adults, children, anybody who enjoys bowling. Rustford Lanes has been in business for 54 years. Bowling is a fun sport that anyone can enjoy. When someone first enters the building, they will come up to the counter and pay. They would get their shoes and find their lane and go down and start bowling. The cool events we have at Rossford Lanes would be our family glow bowling, our birthday parties, and group parties for churches. Other cool events at the alley would be video games, the claw game. It's interesting to see what goes on behind the scenes. Once the ball knocks down some pins, the ball will hit a back plate, the rack will drop down, the ball will go into a chute, and the belt sends the ball back up to you. The most satisfying thing about running Rossford Lanes is watching the kids have fun, enjoying their birthday parties, and enjoying spending time with their families. This is Crystal Briggs reporting for News 6. At Fostoria High School, our Criswell team is having its best season in 13 years with a 9-2 record. We have two new tech prep labs, one for engineering and one for interactive multimedia. The newly renovated television production facility houses the Distance Learning Lab, which is used by all grade levels and the community. Fostoria Educational Television completed its eighth annual season greetings videos, is now producing morning, the daily morning Steve. announcements, and Redmond Rap Basketball airs on our dedicated cable access channel. There's a lot happening at Fossoria High School. That's all for this edition of News 6. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for more news from around Northwest Ohio. See ya! Sixth graders of Indian Hills Elementary in Rossford wish to thank the friends of this broadcast for their generous local support of this edition of News 6.